Hello, this is Goku471, back here with a video on The Last Airbender. This is going to be part one of a two-part video. This one will be me begging a question. I seen the movie The Last Airbender, and I enjoyed it. So I'm going to tell you what I thought was good and what I thought was bad. This is not a review. I've already done my review. Uh, this will have spoilers. Do not see this. If you have not seen the movie, I will ruin the movie. Because this is going to be more breaking down the things that I thought were good and bad, and presenting a challenge. Anyb everybody out there who said this movie was a horrid piece of shit, because there are a lot of you out there, which I completely disagree with you, please do a video response to this video telling me your opinions and why this movie is so bad. If you already have a review, post a review. If you do not have a review and you're doing a video response to this, please do not do it as a review. Please do it as just... Very similar to what I'm doing, saying what you like, what you dislike, or why this movie is bad. Break down your opinion. I've seen many reviews online stating this movie was bad because it was bad. I don't want things like that. I want actual reasons. If you give me good reasons, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for legit reasons of why you think this movie was bad. I'm giving you my reasons of why I think it was good. I will state on this video why I think it was pretty good. And I think this movie is good, and so now let's begin with the video. First of all is, I'm going to break down what an adaptation is, and why people are getting so heated over this. First of all, is this, not an, this is not an adaptation from a media like a book. There are differences. When you're doing an adaptation from a book, you don't have visual media to refer to so there's less chance of you having to get somebody to look identical when you're talking about something like this or Dragon Ball for instance because they made a Dragon Ball movie a lot of people are gonna state you did the wrong thing because they have visual media and you had colored you, you had these characters you had voices and so there are a lot of differences because you're not gonna get everything perfect so that's one thing that I that, that I'm kind of upset with people trying to go to that the actors don't look right well you're never going to find exact replicas. It, it doesn't exist. It's just not possible. There are differences that are in this movie. I did not do one of these about Dragon Ball Evolution, even though I did not... I thought people were wrong about that movie. Everyone said that was a horrid piece of shit, and I thought it was an average movie. It was enjoyable, and I'll watch it again eventually. I own the movie. My friend gave me a copy, and so I will eventually watch it. It's not that bad of a movie, but it's not good. I'm doing one on this movie simply because I think it's a good movie. I think they did a great job with what they had to work with. And there are certain things that they did wrong, yes. I don't see where people get so heated over this movie because, first of all, is I don't see how it's so bad because the only thing that I see that is a little bad is the acting. And they're children, so they're very new and they're trying to learn their acting skills, so give them a break. It's going to take a few movies for them to get really good. There's three movies here. By the second movie, they're going to be better. And by the third movie, they should be really good. Harry Potter had seven. And the actors uh, eventually grew into their own. And now they're fantastic at acting. So we might not get the fantastic acting by the third. Because they're only going to be doing third movies. The acting will get better. Don't worry. It will get better. So let me break down more of what I thought was good changes out of this movie because there were good changes and there were bad changes and this is the part where people are going to bitch me out before I go into this this is my opinion this is not fact also please do not leave horde comments they will be they will be uh, I will consider them spam and I will spam them and I will not put up with this I am not gonna block comments unless I need to Okay? First, there's the fact that in this movie, firebenders cannot make fire out of thin air. Okay, I've already heard one Avatar fan complain about this, saying it was a horrible idea. They should have made them be able to do it out of thin air. There's no reason for this change. It's a horrible change, and it, it, it's just bad. I disagree heavily. I think it was a very good change. I think it was, uh, I think that it was ultimately one of the better changes they did. Because if you look at it, only one ra uh, only one race can bend out of thin air, and that's the Firebenders. It makes no sense that they're the only ones who can do this. 
it I don't know it was not creative they should have done it the, uh, they should have done it this way in the cartoon this would have been better and when I thought about it I came to this conclusion because earthbenders have to be around earth waterbenders have to be around water airbenders are always air so so what's the difference with firebenders why shouldn't they have to be around fire it makes it more strategic because they have to think about their plans and they have to be a little bit more creative they can't just rush into a base and attack them that's creative that's interesting i like that and so i thought that was a very good change and it makes a lot more sense for them not to be able to just create fire I think that people thinking that this is a bad change, I'm going to get a lot of bad comments about this, but I'm going to do my best to explain it if I need to, but I think this was a great change, and I'm happy for it. While I was while I was thinking about doing this video, I had actually went over my friends for the weekend while I was thinking about this, and I had seen the first four episodes, and this next change, and change number two that I actually liked, really came from watching that and understanding that it was it felt like it was missing and yes after seeing this movie there were a few things in the it didn't hold up to what i thought it would and this was one of these th these things that i thought was better and i heard people complain about this uh they're stating that when he gets on the ship and he tests the avatar in the movie with the with the four items um say, uh, a rock water a candle that was a good change because that ultimately, it, it was missing out of the show because they all assumed, oh, he's the app. It was like out of nothing. There was no test. There was no... It was just like all suddenly they think he's the Avatar and it didn't make any sense to me at all. So this was one of those changes I actually like a lot. And I'm happy they actually did it. Also, the third change I like was at the very end of the movie where in the movie he turns into this gigantic fish-like creature when he goes in the Avatar state. He kills all the uh, all of them. Now I would have loved to see that gigantic fish-like creature. I think that would have been great. But in the movie where he does that gigantic tidal wave and they all run away, I think that was a really good change too. Because the Avatar, to me, is a peaceful person who does not want to resolve anything with violence. And I think they even mentioned that in the show. And if they do, please tell me what episode. And if they do, then why do you want him to kill people? He found a peaceful solution to a problem. I thought that was very creative, and I thought that was good. So there are some good changes, and this was one of them. I think this was a great change. I think it really made it feel more... Yeah, I, I like this change. The big gigantic fish would have been cool, but it, but it makes him into a murderer. This is the end of part one. This was all the positive stuff. There will be a part two. It should be uploaded about the same time. Stay tuned. This will be where I talk about what I didn't like. Trust me, there are some negatives. I think the negative section will be shorter, but trust me, there are negatives. There are complaints. I didn't think the movie was perfect. Don't worry. Please don't spam this this one without watching the second half. This is my opinion. Stay tuned. Please leave a comment or a video response. If you want to leave it on either one, go ahead. I will definitely look at all of them, and I will definitely respond to everybody. And please leave a video response on the second video, not on this video, about about your opinions on why you liked it or why you didn't like it. Mainly why you didn't like it. Because I want to know why this movie is bad. Stay tuned for part two. It should be uploaded immediately when uh, immediately after part one.